Looking like these chip sensors to be put in front where uh, the gas is actually going to fire up to have combustion air space in front. So that's why quite often you'll see water heaters really kind of snugged in. Now you got to have ample room or, you know, sufficient room around it to, you know, do maintenance to reach around the back of the water heater, that kind of thing. But that whole well vintage all the way around, that's the default if the brand of water heater you're putting in is unlisted. If it's not listed or certified, the state is going to say 12 inches. If it is listed, okay. it's going to say, show us the installation manual, which, by the way, before you even commit to a water heater, uh, David, you can pull down, you know, that's the glory of the internet these days. You can pull down their uh, their manual online and just check it and say, oh, look, they only want uh, two inches of clearance. All right, now I know what I'm doing. All right. Yeah, it's still in the box. I haven't taken it out yet, so I had two inches in each. Yeah, so here's the thing. You don't even have to open it up the box. You can just take that model number and go online with it and get the manual, you know, right on your computer and read exactly what's got to happen. Yeah, as far as in a garage, okay, a gas appliance uh, needs to be on a pedestal. They want that ignition source and the, uh, the gap, the flame, 18 inches above the floor of the garage. This is inside the house in the laundry room. Um, yeah, it's going to be the same. Yeah, yeah, they're going to want to be. Can I put the bank in the door? Can I put the bank in the door? Can I put the bank in the door? Oh, yeah, they're going to have a Yeah, again. Uh, they're going to have a, a, a requirement uh, in the installation instruction saying that if it's in your closed space, the vent has to be so many square inches inside. So the vent, of course, you can put a vent in the door, but you're going to want to have the vent the proper size for uh, what the unit requires. And that's it. Okay. You have time for one more quick question? Super quick. Good. Go for it. Okay, it's about an airless player that you buy at Home Depot for four or five hundred bucks. Do uh, you, you think it's a waste of money? Or to rent one, is, is you're going to pay the whole outside of a house with uh, horizontal siding and roof and stuff. This is quite an intimidating step. I was thinking of buying a throwaway airless, but I don't want to waste my money. What do you think? Um, yeah, yeah, there was a time when I would say, uh, shake my head left and right and say, no, don't do the airless player thing. I mean, they're kind of gimmicky and they're glitchy and whatever, but they have come an awful long way. So, uh, if it's a small project and a one-off, definitely rent. Rent something, okay? Uh, it's going to do it yourself because you're going to save a lot of money and you don't need to have it. But a big project like the entire outside of the house, uh, you know, the better, the better airless players, they're quite impressive. They really are, and they get the job done. So, uh, separate you on whatever product that you're looking at, but, uh, yeah, uh, I can give uh, recommendations to a, uh, a lot of them these days because they've come so far. David, thank you for your questions. I hope that uh, informs you and uh, helps everybody else kind of figure out what the whole water heater clearance story is. Uh, when we return, let's just dive back into clearance, shall we? If you're on the line, hang tight. We'll come back to the phone. Uh, but when we return... Uh, let's talk about a really tricky thing and one that's very emotional for people. Tables. Dining room tables. How much room do I need for that dining room when I'm trying to shove it into this multi-use space that everything else is in at the same time? We'll talk about that when we return. So glad you joined me this morning. You're home. The are being the house with her on Tampa. Adding more armed deputies to the metro train system has reduced crime and made passengers feel safe. Operation Safe Travel started June 1st for a 30 day trial run. The only way to say the goal is to deter crime, increase the visual presence of law enforcement, and relocate 5,700 homeless people living on the trains, buses, and platforms. The sheriff says they've made contact with 1,133 homeless people. They also made 205 arrests on the system. 
20 pounds of very thick and all misdemeanors, 15 infractions. So that's what is very well. He apparently threatened to remove all his deputies from the metro system if the metro break was going to allow the deputies to fully enforce the law. Greg's official said they are evaluating the operation for a possible extension. He's a regular set of News brought to you by Rudy Hero. A new bill in the Senate includes a few revisions on current concealed carry rules in the U.S. And we are going to emphasize that criteria, your criminal history, your mental capacity, uh, who you are as an individual, as long as we define it in less objective terms, we'll hold up in future Supreme Court. California Democratic Senator Anthony Portantino says the bill would require applicants applying for a CCW license to provide any criminal history, check the mail and to 21, impose gun storage and cleaning requirements, and limit the places that are authorized to carry firearms in public. The bill passed the Assembly's Public Safety Committee this week. Governor Newsom has signed a new state law ending arrest for loitering for prosecution. You will see divided sex workers and advocates saying the law may make the law since state moments has passed the bill last year. Newsom noted the bill doesn't legalize prosecution. It revokes the vision and says that a disproportionate harassment of women and transgender adults. The measure also would allow those who were previously convicted to ask the court to steal the record of conviction. Then law enforcement groups say to appeal and make it harder to confirm those who commit crimes related to prosecution and human trafficking and to help those being victimized. Mark Long, Clarifying News. Users of the UC Riverside say buying a home is out of reach for more than two-thirds of families in the Indian Empire. UC Riverside Tanner Osmond says home prices in the region are up nearly 20% from last year to $544,000. They effectively uh, have a uh, limited supply of this type of pushing up cost uh, prices. Osmond says building permits are up in the area, which will combat rising prices, but he says it'll be a while for the permits to become actual construction. Officials in Long Beach say there are 3,296 homeless people living in their city. The annual count is down in February and shows a 22% jump in people living in camps around the street and a 380% increase in those living in a vehicle. Those in the study said they were homeless because of issues like money, mental illness, and domestic abuse. The last count is down in 2020. There was no count last year because of the pandemic. 47 Republican lawmakers say the month of June should be called the month of life to celebrate the U.S. Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade. Virginia Representative Carol Miller introduced the resolution yesterday. It says the right to life is a founding principle and the right to have an abortion does not exist in the Constitution. June was already recognized as Pride Month to support the LGBTQ community. <laughs> Not for that news. Oldsmith lead singer is reportedly no longer in rehab. TMZ says Stephen Tyler was only supposed to spend 30 days in a rehab facility, but he actually stayed for longer than that. He was relapsed following foot surgery. In May, it was announced that Tyler to go to rehab, and the band canceled his upcoming residency at the Park MGM in Las Vegas, so Tyler should focus on his recovery. I think with the terrified classic, we have got a class on the teacher's team. The other side is the fatal crash investigation on the southbound side of the 215 to 4 Center Street, only the right lane open. That's up to James Bank of Barton Road in New Hall. We have a crash here on the northbound side of the 5 at the 14. The fatal crash investigation here as well as the car versus the pedestrian. All lanes shut down there. You're back up heavy before the 210. And group of stairs on the northbound side of the 5 before the brake check. Only the left lane open due to a car fire that also caught the road side on fire. Back up there is the 4 Temple Highway. Terrifying the sky helps get there. Hey, remodeling your kitchen, that's a big deal. Kitchen are the heart and soul of our homes, which is why, no matter how ready you think you are, you're probably not, not until you have been to the kitchen store. We start our clients off at the kitchen store. Why? To inspire them so that they can see uh, what's really out there. And we always hear the same thing afterwards. Oh my gosh, we had no idea. No idea how many door styles and colors and finishes there are. No idea how much storage we could achieve. No idea how many configurations and accessories and options there are in a 21st century kitchen. That is why a great kitchen starts at the kitchen store. 7,000 square feet of pure inspiration waiting for you right after 405 in Culver City. And there was a totally free in showroom console with an expert kitchen designer. They've got 12 months famous track financing, pricing that beats the big boxes, state-of-the-art computer design, 
The chart that we put in right set up your free council by dialing 310 That's 310 and find them on the web at 310kitchen.com. Check on weather from KFI, low clouds and fog, and sunny mid 60s to low 70s at the beaches, mid 70s to low 80s in Metro LA and OC, low to mid 80s in the inland valleys, and upper 80s to low 90s in the IE. Temperatures are going to cool down slightly tomorrow, stay that way through in the past day holiday. 765 degrees in Irvine, 65 in Cotton Valley, 52 in Culver City, and 63 in Angola. Really local, live from KFI, 24 hours in the room. I'm Brian Blue. Like I'm going to go with my mom's called Cozy. Mm -hmm. Cozy Mystery. Cozy I'm here to help. I'm here to help you with your home. From construction issues to being a design mentor for you, that's what I'm doing today. Because when it comes to transforming that place where you live, design matters most. But nature, you know what? I'm just here to be a friendly boy in the morning, helping you build yourself a more beautiful home. I hope a more beautiful life and to do it all more affordably and more artfully than all you ever imagined. We're talking about critical dimensions and experiences for our home. A lot of DIYers are trying to figure out how to plan out their new remodel or their addition or even their new home. And uh, I love it, love it. In fact, we demand as designers. Uh, no, when I say we, I just mean female. Not all designers are architects.